In this paper, we present a method for styling evolution of tight-fitting garments. We consider the aesthetics factors in the evolution. Reference to a drawing book, we base on the anatomy study of bones and muscles, and draw the body streamlines on the 3D human bodies. A design looks aesthetics, when the styling curves are parallel or perpendicular to the streamlines. Based on the angles, we define a fitness score to evaluate the quality of a design, which is the larger the better. In order to verify the effectiveness of the fitness scores, we have conducted a survey for 20 designs. 172 people has joined the survey, and they are asked to evaluate each design by a 5 scale rating. The rating results are compared with the fitness score in this chart. The x-axis is the designs and they are sorted by their fitness score. It can be seen that, the user rating is basically matching with the fitness score, with only a little perturbation. This is a demonstration of the overall evolution algorithm. Given 10 input designs, our framework will generate 50 random samples using crossover and mutation operations. The samples are stored by fitness score, good samples with high fitness score are selected for design optimization. But for design inspiration, samples are uniformly selected according to fitness score, and three of them are randomly selected from the original input designs. Here, we get our first generation. The results of the first generation are used as the new inputs, and generate new 50 random samples for second generation. This process can be iterated, and to get more and more evolution results. The design optimization scheme help improve the quality of styling curves. We can see that, the fitness score is increasing during the evolution starting from very low score inputs. The design inspiration scheme is used to increase the variance of styling designs by retaining enough diversity. Therefore, designers can be inspired by the diversified results. To facilitate the evolution, we record each design by dual representations. One is the styling curves, another one is the design field. We propose an efficient conversion between the dual representations. The design field is generated from styling curves through a geodesic distance field. Inversely, by extracting a banded region on the design field, it can be converted back to styling curves by finding chordal axis on the triangulation. Based on the evolution theory, we generate samples through crossover operator. Given two inputs, S1 and S2. By randomly selecting different parts from them, we can construct a confidence coefficient WV. Through different WV, different outputs can be generated even with the same inputs. Remark that, the crossover operator is conducted on design field. Beside the crossover operator, a set of mutation operators is developed. They are patch erosion, curve removal, and symmetrization. Patch erosion and symmetrization are done on design field, while curve removal is done on styling curves. Our evolution framework can be also extended to more general garments. Here is an illustration on a 2D human model and a 2D garment drawing. We can construct a computational domain to enclose the human model and the garment, then the design field can be generated on the domain. Given with a set of input designs, the same evolution operations can be taken on the computational domain in a similar way. In this example, we have just applied crossover operator randomly to generate the results shown in here. Mutation operators for general clothes will be developed in the future. Now, let's have a look on the styling evolution results.